how's it going guys welcome back to another ps5 jailbreak tutorial so this is going to be the full beginner's guide showing you how to jailbreak your ps5 from start to finish using the youtube application we can now jailbreak using the youtube app all the way up to firmware 10.01 on the ps5 so i'm going to show you how you can fully set up the jailbreak from scratch here in this video now this will also be part of a playlist of tutorials so i'll be adding more videos to this series showing you how to make the most out of your jailbroken PS5. So check out the playlist. It will be linked in the video description because I will be adding more videos to it over time. So let's go ahead and get into things here. So first things first, we need to head into our settings page, scroll down to the network settings and go to settings and uncheck the box to connect to the internet so that we are disconnected for now. Then we're going to head down to our system settings. We're going to go to system software, system software update and settings. Make sure both of these boxes are unchecked for downloading update files and installing update files automatically. And then if we head back, we're going to go into the console information page and check your system software version, which is this long string of numbers here. So after the first dash, we have our firmware version. So you can see mine is currently on 04.03. Now you can follow this video to jailbreak your console from any firmware from 4.03, 04.03 all the way up to 10.01. Any firmware within that range between 4.03 and 10.01 is jailbreakable and you'll be able to set up the jailbreak on your PS5. Anything higher than 10.01, you'll have to wait for a new jailbreak to come out that supports a higher firmware. So that's the situation at the moment. So newer PS5 games require higher firmwares to run, so you can update your firmware to a higher version to access more playable PlayStation 5 games. But if you update to a higher version, you could miss out on future jailbreak improvements, which tend to come out for older firmwares first. So there is a trade-off to updating your firmware. So if you don't want to update, just skip to the timestamp you see on screen here. Otherwise, stick with me here and I'll show you guys how you can update. Okay, so if you want to update your firmware to 10.01 or any of these supported firmwares, you can head to this website here, archive.midnightchannel.net. I'll leave it in the description. You've got all the official firmwares here for the PS5. You just want to scroll down till you find the one that you want, 10.01. Obviously, don't accidentally install one of the higher ones that is not jailbreakable. 10.01 is the highest firmware that can be jailbroken right now. So you would just click on this one to download it. There's also this website here, which I'll also leave in the video description. We've got 10.01 right here. We can download it from here. And then there's also darksoftware.xyz, which does not have firmwares listed up to 10.01 yet. But once it does, I'll leave that one in the description as well. A few different websites you can go to to download the file. So once you have the file downloaded, we need a USB drive connected to your computer. Right click on it and go to properties and make sure that the file system is XFAT. Preferably you want it to be XFAT here. It can be FAT32 as well. If it's not, you can right click and format it and then make sure you select the file system as XFAT or FAT32 and then click start to reformat the drive, but make sure you back up any data on the drive before reformatting it. So anyway, once we've done that, we can go into the USB drive and right click and create a new folder in the root of the drive called PS5 in uppercase characters. And then inside that folder, we create another folder called update, which is also in uppercase characters. And then inside that folder is where we copy our update file for the 10.01 update. And then we right click and rename the file and make sure that the file name is just going to be called ps5 update.pup make sure you go to view in file explorer and show and file name extensions make sure that is ticked so that you can make sure the full file name is correct ps5 update.pup all in uppercase characters you have to have all of these folders and the file correctly labeled in the right place otherwise the ps5 will not detect the update file on the usb but once you've done that, you can unplug that USB drive and plug it back into your PS5. Okay, so back on the PS5, we can press circle once and then go down to system software update and settings and select the option to update the system software and make sure you select update from USB drive, not the internet. Also make sure you don't have a game disc inserted in your console at the moment because some game discs also have the update file on the disc. So make sure you do not have a game disc in your PS5. And then you can just select X on update and that will update the firmware version to the one that you have on the USB drive. Just give it some time to complete the update. It will likely restart your PS5 a couple of times. And then once the update has been installed and you're back on the home menu again, you can go back into the settings, go back into the system settings, system software, console information, 
and you should see that your system software version has changed to the version that you updated to. So that's how you update your PS5 firmware to the latest jailbreakable version. Okay, so now we can get set up to run the jailbreak itself. So in order to run this jailbreak, we need to restore a backup file onto the console that contains the exploit and the correct version of the YouTube application that can run the jailbreak. So before we do this, you should make a backup of your own console first. So plug in a USB drive into your PS5. And then from there, if we back out of console information and go down to backup and restore, we're going to back up our PS5 and we're going to say yes. And this is just so that you don't lose any of your save data and screenshots and games permanently, because when we restore the backup that contains the exploit, it will factory reset your console pretty much. And you'll lose all of your save files and everything that's on the console currently. So you want to back that up first before you restore the backup that has the exploit on it. So make sure you select save data, screenshots and video clips and settings. For PS5 games and apps, you can edit this to only select any games and apps that you actually have installed. Currently, I don't have any on this PS5. It's pretty much stock. And then once you're done, you can click next and then back up the PS5 and then let that create the backup on your USB drive. Okay, so backup complete. Your PS5 will restart. So we'll just let it restart the PS5 and then we can unplug that USB drive and plug it back into our computer. We can go into that USB drive and we now have a PS5 folder here on our USB and you can basically copy this out somewhere on your computer for safekeeping so that you will not lose any of this data. So just store it somewhere safe on your computer, somewhere where you will remember so that you can always restore this backup in the future to get all of your stuff back if you need to. So once we have it copied over somewhere safe on the computer, we can delete the PS5 folder from the USB drive. Then we can take the backup file that contains the jailbreak, which will be in the video description. It will just be a link that you can go to and download the file. So it's this zip file here. We're gonna open up the zip file. You can see we have a PS5 folder inside. We're just going to extract that onto the root of the USB drive again. Don't put it inside any folders. Okay, and once we have the backup on there, we should be all good to go. Now you can also take this opportunity to install any PS4 games or PS5 games onto the USB drive, any games and applications that you want to run on the PS5. So you can go to pkg-zone.com, which is the homebrew store. And if you go to console and filter for PlayStation 5 applications, you can see you can download certain PlayStation 5 homebrew applications onto your console from here. You just download the PS5 version of any applications that you want and you can copy them to the root of your USB drive. Now also for games, I have a few games at, to run on my PS5 once it's jailbroken, just as an example. So PlayStation 4 games are stored as these package files. So all of your PlayStation 4 applications are installed in these PKG files. So for PS4 games, you just need one of these fake package versions of the game and any DLC or updates for the game also. As you can see, I have an update and a piece of DLC content for this game. So any PS4 applications, you just copy the package files for them to the root of the USB drive. And then once we're jailbroken, we'll be able to sideload these packages onto the console. Now for PlayStation 5 games and applications, they are stored differently where we just have the games stored inside a folder. So let's take Hogwarts Legacy here. And in here, you can see we've got the extracted game files just stored in a folder. So they're not in package files for PlayStation 5 games. So you can just copy the folder that contains the extracted game files somewhere on your USB drive. And then we can get them installed and running on the PlayStation 5 once we're jailbroken. Okay, so with that copied over to our USB, we can go ahead and unplug that USB drive and plug it into our PS5. Okay, so back on the PS5, we're going to go into our settings, scroll down to system, go to system software, backup and restore. This time we're going to restore the PS5 using the version that we put on the USB drive, the YouTube Jailbreak Auto Loader. So we're gonna select that and restore. Again, highly recommend you make your own backup first and store it somewhere safe on your computer before doing this so that you don't end up permanently losing any of your data that was previously on the console. So now we just wait for this backup to restore. So we'll just get logged in. So I did create this backup with a few homebrew applications already installed, just the main ones that I think everybody should have installed on their PS5. And then if we go to the media section, we have the YouTube jailbreak auto loader. So this is what actually jailbreaks the console. And then we also have the Netflix application, which can also be used to jailbreak your console. So you have two options there, a primary and a backup 
method of loading the jailbreak. So with that, we should be basically all good to go. All we need to do is run Y2JB Auto Loader. And then we just wait for this to jailbreak the console. So in that case, it failed. Exploit failed, reboot and try again. So the jailbreak is not perfectly stable. So when that happens, you have to just restart the console and try and load it again. So the exploit can occasionally fail. If the console crashes, you do have to hit the power button twice to turn it back on. And it may take a little bit longer for it to start up. But, but once it gets back into the home menu, you can just run the application again to re-jailbreak the console. We'll load this back up again. Log into our account. And we'll give this another go. So we'll go to the media section and run the YouTube jailbreak auto loader. And there it goes. That was successful that time. So it should automatically close the YouTube application once it's done loading. And then it will start running K stuff and ETA Hen, which is the sort of main jailbreak payloads for the PS5. And there we go. ETA Hen 2.4B is running. And that's it. You have successfully jailbroken your PS5. It is that easy. So if we head over to our settings here, scroll down, you can see we have the ETA Hen toolbox and this contains all of your jailbreak features. So you've got a whole new settings menu here just for the jailbreak. So to run your PlayStation 4 games, you just head to the package installer and then any package files that you put on the USB drive will appear here in the package installer and you can just click install all to install all of them directly onto the console. So any PlayStation 4 applications or homebrew applications that you want to install, you can just install them this way. Okay, so that's how you sideload applications onto the PS5. So another thing we need to do, as you can see here, we've got it installed. So Resident Evil 4 Remake. So another thing we should do is get connected to the network. So if we go into the settings page, scroll down to our network settings, Go to settings. You can check the box to connect to the internet. It should already be checked. And then go to set up internet connection. Now, if you are connecting via a wired network, then all the settings should already be set up for you. Just plug in your ethernet cable and you should be good to go. If you're connecting to a wireless network though, then this is very important because we cannot just freely connect to the internet because what will happen is the YouTube application is likely to get updated, which will prevent you from running the jailbreak using the YouTube jailbreak auto loader. So to prevent that, instead of selecting one of your networks here in the uh, list, in the network list, and then connecting to it, what you need to do is actually set it up from scratch by scrolling down to the bottom and selecting the option to set up manually. And then from here, we can tell it to use, you know, Wi-Fi or LAN cable, and then we'll say enter manually, do not use WPS. And then you just have to enter the SSID, the network name of your wireless router, and then the security method, which should be WPA personal or WPA2, WPA3. Enter the password. And then also you can leave everything else apart from DNS settings. We need to set our DNS to a manual DNS and then set the primary DNS to 127.0.0.2 and make sure you enter that then you can click done and connect to your wireless network and that way it will already block the connection to prevent the YouTube application from being updated and wiping the jailbreak. Do not just select your network from the list and connect to it because then it will connect with the automatic settings which will likely cause the YouTube application to get updated. Now this will give you network access however it's not full internet access. If you want full internet access on your PS5 then you can change your DNS to 62.210.38.117. That will still block the system updates while giving you access to the internet. However, you should not try to load the YouTube application with this DNS address set as it might update internally and screw up the auto loader. So just make sure you change this address back to 127.0.0.2 before you next load the YouTube jailbreak auto loader. So just make sure you do that first of all and then you should be good to get connected back up to your network. So once we're connected, we should be all good to go here. So if I run the game that I installed just to show that that works. Okay, and as you can see, the game is up and running here on our PS5. So that's how you install and run your PlayStation 4 applications. They just install and they appear in the home screen like any other application that you can launch. PlayStation 5 games, a little bit more complicated. We need to run the items flow game manager. 
So we can go ahead and run this and get this loaded. Let it do its thing, its first time setup. And then to run your PS5 applications, we select the PS5 app option here. We change the application path and then we press R1 to switch to the right menu, which is the menu for our USB drive. So all of the contents on the USB drive are in the right hand menu. And then we just find the folder that contains all of the extracted game files, which was this folder here for Hogwarts Legacy. And then I can press square to select that folder once we're hovered over it. And that is done. It says it's ready to go. So at this point, you can either just launch it directly from the USB drive, or you can use the copy app folder option to copy that game back up to the internal storage or an internal M.2 drive that you have installed and you can copy it there if you'd rather launch it from there. But for quickness, we can just launch it directly here from the USB drive. So you can see it takes a few seconds there and then we get the black screen and we just have to wait a little while and there it is. But as you can see, the game is loading here on our PS5 and that is a native PlayStation 5 game, not a PS4 game running through backwards compatibility, but a genuine PlayStation 5 application running here. So that is how you run your PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 applications once you're jailbroken. Now it's important also to mention that this is a tethered jailbreak, which basically means that whenever you restart the console, the jailbreak will no longer be running. So after rebooting the console, all of your applications that you installed while you were jailbroken, any of your games, are all still here, but you will not be able to run any of them because the console is no longer jailbroken. So of course, all you have to do is just head back to the media section and run the YouTube jailbreak autoloader again and wait for it to set up the jailbreak again. So this is all you have to do whenever you restart the console. It's literally just one click, you know, launch the YouTube jailbreak application and then wait for it to finish loading all of the payloads and the jailbreak. And bam, that's it. We are back up and running again, which means we should be all good to go. I can run items flow. And as you can see, it is now loading. So that's how you get back up and running with the jailbreak. It only takes a few seconds. Now there is a way around this, which is that you can put your console into rest mode. Instead of turning the console off, just put it into rest mode. And then whenever you want to use the console again, you just recover from rest mode and the jailbreak will still be running. So instead of restarting the console, just use rest mode instead. And then you don't have to reload the jailbreak every time. That's one workaround that people use, um, but generally it only takes a few seconds to reload the jailbreak anyway on a restart, so it's not too big of a deal. Now, one final thing here, you may have noticed throughout this video, every time I launch an application, we have the performance stats, the text in the top left-hand corner. If you want to get rid of that, you just go into your debug settings or ETA Hen toolbox, whatever it's called, and then scroll down to the settings menu and go to the game overlay menu and then uncheck all of the boxes in here. And that'll get rid of that information in the top left hand corner of the screen if you don't want it. So that is basically it. That's how you fully jailbreak the PS5 on firmwares up to 10.01 using the new YouTube jailbreak auto loader. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. Again, this is part of a playlist of tutorials. So I'll have lots more videos being added over the coming weeks that will show you how to take full advantage of your jailbroken PS5 and show you a lot of other great things that you can do when you have your PS5 jailbroken. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel and check the playlist, which will be linked in the video description, which will have all of the new videos as I add them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.